A real problem has persisted with the issuance of real IDs in Franklin and Woodford counties. So the state's transportation cabinet is doing something about it. It's going to hold off on rolling out the voluntary travel IDs everywhere across the Commonwealth. Michael Burke has details in the LEX 18 Big Story. It's one gentleman told me he waited for more than one hour. That was due to a computer glitch. Others said the wait time for issuance of the new voluntary travel ID took about 30 minutes. But wait times in Franklin and Woodford counties haven't been the issue since the program launched back in June. It's been the processing time on the other side of the glass that has transportation cabinet officials concerned. In a letter dated September 6th, Secretary Greg Thomas told the state's clerks that they'd be halting the installation and implementation of VTID equipment in any additional circuit court clerk's offices beyond the two counties already up and running. Thomas also alluded to significant and unforeseen workload and staffing issues that have required clerks to divert staff from essential court duties to assist with the license burden. The Department of Homeland Security is requiring these real IDs for any domestic airline travel beginning on October 1st of 2020. So 54 weeks from now, your standard driver's license will not work at the airports. The state must move quickly to rectify this issue, and Thomas wrote the cabinet was in the process of doing just that by making efforts to secure funding to establish regional facilities to assume responsibility for issuing VTIDs. In Woodford County, Michael Burke, LEX 18 News.